last three Article 17 reports under the Habitats Directive for the Annex 1 Habitat Active Raised Bog concluded that it was in bad declining conservation status. So in order to reverse that decline, Ireland has put in place a comprehensive and accelerated programme of restoration measures across our whole network of designated raised bogs. We're out here at Clunco Bog, which is in County West Meath. This is one of the pilot sites for the Carepeat project. It's about 30 hectares in size. And what we've done here is a combination of traditional peat dams and novel bunding to restore the hydrology and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The trench bonds themselves are constructed by digging a trench, recompacting the peat within the trench to prevent any subsurface flows, and then building the bond up to about a height of 500 millimetres. This ensures and allows for a little bit of compaction as the peat dries. And finally, and most importantly, we put within the bonds themselves a series of overflow weirs and overflow pipes, which ensure that the water flows from one cell to the next and keeps the water level where we want it to best and optimise the regeneration of sphagnum. We will hopefully, in years to come, recolonise and regenerate that area with the sphagnum bog or the bog moss, which allows the peat to start growing again and to form peat. And the lessons we've learned from applying this technique will be so important in refining those techniques going forwards. The next steps at the bog are to continue monitoring the success of the restoration activities and also to monitor the restoration effect of the bunded area as there's very few studies that have measured the greenhouse gas emissions after restoration. We're also involving the local community group called ETHOS. The word ETHOS stands for everything Tyrrell's Pass has, has on show. Our ETHOS group became involved with the Care Peat Project and also with the IPCC, which is the Irish Peatland Conservation Council. We decided we would get our community involved in the transfer of sphagnum from an area where the sphagnum is abundant to an area where the surface of the bog has been exposed and is, is leaking carbon, basically. The Care Peat Project, the National Parks and Wildlife Service, developed this technique of cell bonding on the cutover at Cloncrow Bog. It can be applied across those 100 sites across the Irish Midlands, and we will be applying that, and that's been a real benefit, cooperating with the Care Peat Project. When the project is over, which on Cloncrow here will be over in a year or two, it's the local community who will become the guardians of this peatland. And I feel very strongly that we should engage with young people, with primary school children and with secondary school children. Because in 20 years time, if climate change is going to happen, they are going to suffer. These are the people that we must become enthusiastic about protecting and preserving our peatlands.